Hello guys, today we'll be doing the unboxing of the cube. I can say probably this is a cube or looking at it more closely you can say this looks like a box coming from Egypt having strange symbols and signs. It can be a box from Transformers or it can be some kind of artifact which just crashed under from space. Well we're going to be seeing this in more close view and understand what this is, how it works and how it can be used in our day-to-day -day lives. So to give you a heads up about what this device is, it's an AR device. So it is uh, designed by the company called Merge Labs and this is called a Merge Cube. So once you get your Merge Cube from Amazon, I'm going to be providing the links in the video description. You can get, get the uh, Merge Cube for probably around like ten dollars and then if you want you can also buy the headset which comes along with it as an extra accessory which you can buy for another thirty dollars in which you can fit your phone inside and then you can view how this cube works or I would just say you know take a, take a phone and then hold it in your hand and you can basically see how it works out so we are so let's go to, let's uh, dive into this and see how this works because if I just keep on showing you how the cube is going to work and how it is going to function, it doesn't make big sense. So let's see how this device works. So on your cell phone, you basically have to download the Merge Cube application. So in your cell phone device, if you see in the App Store, it's available both on iOS and Android. So you can just go to Merge. And if you see over here, you would see something called Dick for Merge Cube. Or uh, there are so more Merge apps. You can also develop apps for Merge. There are so many other apps where you can do, you can see the whole solar system instead of just teaching kids using a normal map saying that, oh, this is the sun, this is the earth, this is Mars, this is Venus. So showing that you can describe, I'm going to be going over that more in the video. So uh, that's how it works. So this is how you go through the phone application and then you can see how it uh, works out. So going in depth of about how this device basically works so when I talked about this device I told this is an AR it uses AR so this is basically the object of interest the phone is basically doing the transformation which is basically converting this object of over here it takes an image of this object over here superimposes virtual objects and then gives us a final rendered image called the AR image so how this AR technology basically works. As I told you, VR is how we create a complete virtual reality system around yourself. This is kind of partial, or sometimes it can be complete, of superimposing virtual objects onto the original image and then giving you a complete image. For example, if you want to talk about AR, I would say a good example is the Pokemon Go. Or if you want to see the applications of AR in day-to-day -day lives, it can be the IKEA app which helps you to place the furniture which you're going to buy in a room and it helps you and it basically tells you like okay this is the furniture which I'm going to buy will this fit in my room how the room looks and how will this furniture if I place it in my room give a more aesthetic value so the application so the the method how this basically works is that it, it is this device is basically based on the marker AR system so if you see this cube over here, you see a lot of markings, you have see a lot of engravings, you see a lot of details on this. So the way how marker uh, AR works is kind of very similar to the QR uh, AR application base. So the phone camera, if you see over here, that's your cell phone camera, it basically captures the image and then it starts imposing virtual objects. How does it know that the... So imagine a case when I'm moving the cube the phone basically you can still see the AR moving along with it so how does it do that 
your phone basically comes along with many other uh, sensors that's accelerometers gyroscope and then you have optical sensors and um, cameras so you have more optical sensors camera based sensors like so many other types of sensors which help in superimposing the virtual virtual objects onto the object of interest and then finally all these uh, components are basically added and just given us one final image which appears on your screen something called the AR image so the types of AR are there are four types of AR uh, methods by which you can uh, use it in day-to-day -day applications the very first one which you just saw over here is the marker based AR the second type is called the position based AR for example in your phone you also have some sensors called the GPS which basically helps you to identify which location or which position you are in so imagine the Pokemon Go so you travel to different locations and you see AR objects which are basically Pokemon characters or you see gyms and stuff like that so in the position based AR that's basically how it does so the camera basically takes a photo of the surrounding the GPS basically confirms which location you are standing on and then you combine all the components together and it gives you an AR image which appears on the screen so that's how we see a partial so that's that's kind of like the partial way of how, uh, how AR works so you see the real surroundings and also you see a virtual object superimposed on the surroundings the third version of it is called the uh, projection based AR so in terms of projection based AR what happens is that I think there was a very recent app for the uh, Adidas uh, shoe company so they used they used a they used kind of like a synthetic light which projects an object onto real background such that it kind of so you, you can basically feel the object also it so the light is being projected onto a real object which means that you have already a shoe over here and then the light is being projected onto the shoe to make it to give it more different designs so instead of actually implementing new designs on prototypes well yes you can do it using a computer but looking is believing for me seeing is believing so I like to see how the design looks in real before I wear it on or before I pass it on to the market so that's how projection based AR works the fourth uh, type is object based so that is more compared to how object recognition works so for example that's the IKEA app so in the IKEA app it basically takes a screenshot of the, com the current surrounding which is probably going to be a home and then it just sets the furniture in the particular space in your room and then you can change wallpapers behind it you can change the texture of the furniture so that's kind of how the object based so if you have probably like this is a this is a wall and this is where you keep your furniture over here so it's basically recognizing the camera basically recognizes saying that okay this is an object over here this is going to be my virtual object it will fit imagine if the object is going to be over here I cannot place my virtual object over here so it basically gives you tips and ideas to see how and well the uh, virtual object fits inside the space which you're providing so that can be a very good application so you can you also use this application in industries where you see for example a pot so if you see a robot being basically being uh, working in the background using AR you can superimpose saying that okay this part is manufactured by this particular people this part is damaged over here so you can basically say that okay so I can remove the screw or you can remove this uh, uh, component from that kind of similar to how Iron Man builds his uh, suits in, uh, in the movies but those are movies but movies actually coming to reality using AR so you can do a lot of AR applications using the iPhone it's really really good for doing the AR stuff and when they released iPhone 8 and 8 plus when they release the new engine it's really really good for designing AR applications on your iPhone so that brings us a close to how the AR works so right now we know how this cube works and in the next uh, few minutes of my video I'm going to be showing you how this can be transformed into applications which are really really useful so let's take an application
All right. So if you see on my left side of the screen, you can see that I have the sun basically in my hand. So you can teach the solar system like, okay, that's the map. If you see on the right side of my screen, and you can tell them that, okay, so this is the sun, this is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, blah, blah, blah. All right, that's a very primitive way of teaching. Teaching it in this form of view makes it more interesting for students also. Also, it helps them feel how it is. For example, okay, I have the sun in my hand. I can click on the sun to see what the info about the sun is. That's really good. There was also another AR company which was having a t-shirt in which a QR code was printed and when you brought the phone more closer to it, it basically revealed what was going inside your body. This is a cool way of teaching biology rather than just showing the anatomy of the human body and saying that this is the heart, this is the layer, this is the layer which is the heart, etc, etc, etc. So that's one way of doing it. Here you can see the earth. We actually have the space station which is surrounding the earth and then that's the, that's the moon over there. That's Neptune, that's Saturn, so kind of really cool about how this application basically works. There are some more applications which, also, which are also there. So for downloading more applications, what you can we can do is that. So that was the Galaxy Explorer. So another application is the Dig for Mercury Cube. So we can install that and try it out. There are more applications which you can download from the App Store, or if you are an app developer, you can actually build apps for this and let people like me enjoy it. So let's download that. And also, when you open the Merge Cube box, you will also have a code which is provided to you. So once you get the cube, uh, once you get the code, you basically put it inside your phone application the first time, such that it activates the uh, Merge Cube, and then you can start using it for different applications. That's a cool way of you know playing games. Like if you see on the camera on the right side of the screen, you can basically see the uh, merge cube being shown as a physical object to you. On the left side of the screen, if you see, you basically see the digital version of it, which is showing you how the cube works and how many features which you can do with this AR type. So it's basically a super superimposition of an original image, which basically shows the cube by itself and are adding all the virtual objects onto the screen. So if you see the tracking, it's basically tracking the cube in different orientations, different angles, and basically showing me the image. So when we covered the first part, in the first part of the video, we basically explained about how the marker-based AR works. So that's basically a brief overview of how the marker-based uh, AR works. So there are many different options which you can do. So we have different types of rocks over here. That's the save options over there. So you can basically build something. This is also very good, very great tools if you want to be posting photos on Instagram. This is a really, really, really good tool because it kind of tells your viewers saying that okay, that's a superimposition of your that's a photo of you and also a virtual object next to you, which I think is really really cool. Alright guys. So right now we come to the close of the video. So thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I really uh, am very very uh, happy to share this video guys with you. Uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more content. In the next upcoming videos on probably on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Tesla Semi and the Tesla Model S. The diecast model. I will also be doing an unboxing of a mystery box which I'm getting from MI. 
in the next few days and also I will be doing the unboxing of the mechanical uh, basically a review of the mechanical keyboard which I got from Amazon it's a very very cheap mechanical keyboard which does a really really good job so stay tuned to my channel for all these updates also if you like my channel give a thumbs up and if you like more content like this please subscribe to my channel I will I will be doing a giveaway when I reach thousand subscribers please share it among your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys signing off the technologist